Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple but powerful server monitor using NA10. It will automatically check if your server is up or down and instantly send you alerts on email and telegram when the status of the server changes. So no more manually refreshing pages or finding out your server was down hours later. Let's get started. So the diagram here will show the logic uh, behind how we will handle server status checks and alerts. So we start by checking the current status of the server. It is either up or down. If the server is up and previously it was down, we will update the status of the server, seeing that now it is up and we will also send alerts to uh, the user. Uh, via telegram and email saying that the server is back up but if it was previously up we will do nothing now for the second branch if the server status is down and it was previously up we will update the status of the server saying that that now it is down and we will also send an alert via telegram and email telling the user that the server is down but if it was already down now we will check how many times it was down in a row if it's the third time we will uh, reset uh, the counter the number of checks and send again the, uh, the alerts via telegram and email but if it's not the third time yet we will just increase the number of checks and wait so the logic here will help uh, avoid sending repeated alerts during uh, temporary issues uh, while still also keeping us informed that the server stays down. S so first of all, we will need to link our uh, Telegram and Gmail accounts to NA10. I already done that and I will link uh, in the description uh, some documentation to do this on the NA10 server. We we'll need a uh, to connect our Gmail account and our Telegram account. So if you need help with that and you can't link it, just join my uh, Discord server. I will be glad to help you there. Now let's create our workflow by clicking on Create Workflow. I will name it Uptime Guide, for example, and I will select the trigger with the Schedule node. I will make it trigger each five minutes. So I select minutes, five, and then I execute the step. That's it. Now uh, you need to understand that I have to store my previous status of the server. I will do that in a file. So I will now create a file uh, on the host machine of uh, the NA10 server. So I will take the execute command node and I will take this command. Every uh, all the resources will be available in uh, the description, so you can go check there. What this command will do is, if it finds a uh, file uh, called server status.json, it will do nothing. But if it is if it doesn't exist, it will create uh, that file with the following uh, default value values. Uh, as you see, is it's a JSON file uh, with a status down and number of failed attempts equals to zero. Then it will display the contents of this file. Let's execute the command. As you can see, the std out, I have the status down and the number of failed attempts equals zero. So now after uh, doing that, I need to parse this JSON data because now the, uh, the data is raw. So I will call the edit fields set. I will bring the std out here for the first field called status and it is a string so I will parse to JSON and then take the status field and then I will also add another field called number failed which will count the number of failed attempts it will be a number and then I'll just copy that Paste that here, and then it will be number failed. So that's it. If I execute the step, you can see the status down, and then the number of failed attempts equals to zero. After that, I will call an HTTP node, which will make a GET request to an endpoint that I defined in my server. 
So that endpoint is here is located on slash API slash health. And it will return the health of the server, as you can see here, message healthy and success equals true. So I will make that get request to that server here. I will copy that, paste that here. It will be a get request and we'll add an option, a timeout of 5,000 uh, 5, milliseconds, which is five seconds. And if it doesn't answer, uh, in five seconds well we will just assume that the server is down now i will execute that step as you can see my server returned message healthy and success equals to true now we'll be calling an if node and now we are here we are on the server status we'll just make up the two branches up and down with this if node For the first value, uh, we'll check uh, uh, if the success is true. Uh, it is Boolean, so it is if it is true. And we can also add another condition, which is on the uh, message part, and if it is equals to healthy. Now, if that if this works, if this is true, we are in this part of the branch. We are on the up branch. But if it is false, we are on the down branch. Now, uh, let's create the up branch. We'll call another if, if node, to verify if the previous state was down or up. Then the previous if node will get the edit field, the status here status if it is equal to up we'll be doing nothing we are here but if it is equal to down we will update the status and we will send alerts to update the status we just need to uh, modify the contents of the uh, file we just execute a, a command and we'll just execute this command here which will set the status to up. After that, we'll call a telegram node to send a message saying that our server is back up. Send text message. Now here you select your uh, telegram account. Uh, it will appear after you've added uh, your credentials uh, that I told you in the, uh, in the beginning of this video. After the resource is a message, the operation is a send message, and then you need to get the chat ID. Now to get the chat ID, it's very simple. After you followed uh, the documentation I gave you below in the description, uh, you've created a, a Telegram bot and you've got the token of that uh, Telegram bot. So now I need you to send a DM to uh, that bot uh, on Telegram and then go to this URL and copy your uh, Telegram uh, bot token in that field. After you've done that, you get you get a bunch of uh, informations here. Uh, what what interests us is the chat section, and especially the ID. You just copy th this chat ID and you paste it here. For the text. I will take the text here, I'll copy that, paste that here, go back to line, go back to line, and that's it for the Telegram node. I'll also need a Gmail node. We'll take the send message action. Same thing, you need to uh, select your credentials. Uh, for Gmail, uh, operation send. I will send it to my personal email. The subject will be your server is back up. And then the email, the email type will be uh, HTML and I will just copy this, this HTML code in the message. 
now that's it let's go back and now we finished this branch now we'll take care of the down branch which starts here here we'll check if if the server was down and if it was down for three checks so I take as you can see here we have no fills so we we'll just use that here so we take that we copy that we paste it here we'll get the status here if it was down and the condition also if of the number fail attempt is less than two so now we go back and if this condition is true we'll be here we we'll need to increment the number of checks and we just do that by modifying again the file that we uh, previously have i'll execute this command okay that works and then that's it for the true branch if it is false now we just need to update our file and say that our st server status is down and to uh, reset the number of failed attempts to back to zero so we'll have an execute command node here and with this command it will set the status to down and the number of failed attempts to zero after that we need to uh, send messages to telegram and uh, email uh, I will just copy that paste that here put them here I'll just connect that to that and also that to that but I need to make sure that I change the contents of the text Now it says that my it says that my server is down, and also the contents of the uh, email that will be sent. I also need to change the subjects here and say that our server is down. Now uh, that our workflow is completed, let's execute and test our workflow. Now it's doing the HTTP request. The HTTP request worked. Our server is running. So it will send me a message on Telegram and Gmail because my server is back up. Now, as you can see, I've got uh, an email saying that my server is uh, back up at 1.35 p.m. Uh, and I also received a message on Telegram that I will show on the screen right now. Now I will uh, simulate that my server went down and uh, we'll see the other part of the workflow. So now that my uh, server is uh, turned off, I just blocked my port 80 and port four, uh, 443 just to uh, stop any HTTP request. Uh, now we will test our workflow. So first of all, uh, we'll need to uh, just change something in the HTTP request node. We'll go to settings here and then on error, click on continue. It will be by default on stop workflow, set continue because if uh, the NHN don't get any, any response to the HTTP request, it will trigger an error and the workflow will stop. We don't want that. We want the workflow to continue executing. So now let's execute the workflow and the server is down. As you can see, it will wait for five seconds and now it went with the execute command and we've had our email and telegram messages sent to us. So now, as you can see, I've got a, uh, an email saying that my server is down. Uh, your server is unreachable at 1.40 p.m. I've also got a telegram message. I will uh, put the screen on the, on the video. And then that's it. I think everything is working. We've tested 
this N810 uh, workflow, just to make it active, you need to uh, save it and then to switch to active mode, click on got it and then your workflow will work uh, automatically without triggering it manually. So I hope this video helped you a lot and that you liked it. Uh, all the resources will be uh, linked below, uh, including this uh, workflow that you will be able to download. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to join our Discord server. I'll be glad to help you there and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.